Every time it's a little terrifying, but every time it's a little less terrifying. You're always scared up there. If you're totally without fear, you know, something's wrong because the body has an intrinsic resistance to being out there on that line. But the left side of your brain looks at the anchors, looks at the webbing, looks at the backup, and you know that I could jump off this thing right now and it's gonna catch me, but your body doesn't want to do it. Your mind, your heart, your soul doesn't want you to jump. My name is Mickey Wilson. I'm a professional slackliner. I grew up doing all kinds of sports like skiing and baseball. I spent five years getting a bachelor's and a master's degree in physics, and then I finished and I said, I'm gonna take a year off and go slackline. One year became two, became three, and now we're at like four and then some change. But it's, it's working out. I travel around the world, usually in airplanes, to places like Dubai or Europe. But I took the Winnebago to this beautiful canyon where we set up a high line, had the Winnebago down in the parking lot. And you know, it's so nice to come back and just have cold beers in the fridge. It's kind of like coming back to a little home. You know, I feel like I've made a positive contribution on the world if for nothing but the fact that I helped save a dude's life off of a chairlift with skills that I wouldn't have had four years ago. I ended up meeting up with some buddies. While we were skiing, he got his backpack entangled around his neck while he tried to get off the chairlift. It pulled him around, and before we knew it, he was hanging 10 feet in the air, and the chairlift had stopped, and there was no way to get to him. My slackline instincts kicked in, and I saw the tower and the cable. I didn't see that. I saw a tree and a slackline. Somebody yelled at me, no, 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 don't climb the tower, but I did anyways. Got on the cable, slid down it, and then Ski Patrol threw me a knife. I caught it miraculously on the first try and opened it and cut him down. After my friend almost died, it made me realize life is short, life is precious, life is out of our control sometimes. And uh, I proposed to my girlfriend on a high line the way that I've been like living my whole life kind of out on the line. When a sport becomes your life and your passion, it becomes who you are in a lot of ways. You learn a little something about yourself every time you're out on that line. I'm out here mainly doing this crazy slack life to uh, live out my dreams and hopefully inspire some people and make some positive contributions to the world. Give slacking a good name? Give, yeah, yeah, definitely. You gotta, gotta give it a name first at all. Guys, it's slack line, S-L-A-C-K-L-I-N-E. One word and it's dope.